I'm a very spiritual person. I celebrate all the festivals. I love celebrating. I love decorating goddesses. I love interacting with them. But I really don't know much about their religious practices or I always look to have knowledge beyond the spiritual practices. And this is a story who was somebody has explained to me about Navaratra and I felt it is so meaningful. And when you know stories, stories remains always in our heart. Navaratri, which means nine nights in Sanskrit. It's a significant Hindu festival celebrated in India. It is observed four times a year, each marking a different season. Two are most widely celebrated. Shraddha Navaratri. This is the most famous and widely celebrated Navaratri, occurring in the month of Ashwin, which is September to October. It marks the victory of goddesses Durga over the demon Mahishasura, symbolizing the victory of good over evil. It's a time for the renewal and purification. Devotees fast, pray and perform rituals to invoke the energy of goddesses Durga. Chaitra Navaratri This takes place in the lunar month of Chaitra, which is March to April. Chaitra Navaratri marks the beginning of the Hindu New Year according to the lunar calendar. Farmers pray for a good harvest season and it is celebrated to invoke the divine guidance and blessings of Goddess Durga for health, wealth and prosperity throughout the coming year. Magha Navaratri and Ashada Navaratri both are known as Gupta Navaratris. This is observed during the lunar month of Magha and Ashada, which is January and February and in June and July. This Navaratri is primarily observed by spiritual aspirants and sadhus. It is considered as an auspicious time for tantric worship and practices. It is mainly dedicated to the worship of the most secretive and powerful form of Goddesses Shakti. The ritual and the practices are often meant to attain spiritual upliftment and power. The nine goddesses we, that we celebrate during Navaratri are Shailaputri, Brahmacharni, Chandragata, Kushmata, Skandamada, Kathyayani, Kalaratri, Mahagauri and Siddhidhatri. Their iconography, their looks may be very different because they, has, they have been evolved as per the culture and time of that particular region. So it is different in different places. Instead of focusing on an external representation, which varies, we should celebrate the inner qualities they represent. You should feel them as part of you. They represent nine unique qualities. She is invisible. She is passionate. She is compassionate. She is peace. She is love, she is caring, and she is fearsome. She is connected with the flora and fauna. Her conch, her lotus, her bull, and the lion represents nature. Shaila Putri, in her name itself you will see Putri. An infant form in yourself. 